Hey guys, welcome back to Surface Area. Uh, so you guys should already have some of these formulas down, but we'll just go through uh, some of the application of them. So we have surface area is the area each side of an object occupies added together. So we want to find how, uh, yeah, the surface area of each side of a 3D object, and then we just add them together to find the total surface area. So we have a couple of steps. So our first step is determine the object you are dealing with. So just figure out what the shape looks like. Uh, select the correct formula. Substitute values into the formula. Solve for surface area. And then we have our pi is going to be equal to 3.14. Okay, so our first example we have find the surface area of a rectangular prism measuring three feet by four feet by six feet. Okay, so first thing we have to do is uh, determine the object we are dealing with. Okay, so we said a rectangular prism. So we're going to have our rectangular prism. Okay, and we said that it measures three feet by four feet by six feet. Okay, so our formula for this one is going to be two times length times width plus length times depth plus depth times width. Okay, so that's going to be 2 times our length, which is going to be this guy on the bottom here. So our 3 times our width, which is 4, plus our length, which is again 3, times our depth, which is 6, plus our depth, which is our 6, times our width, which is our 4. Okay, so what this formula is saying here is this 3 times 4 is going to give you the surface area of this front square. Our 3 times 6 is going to give you this long piece underneath on the bottom there, and the 6 times 4 is going to give you the piece on the side. So we have the piece at the front, the piece on the bottom, and the piece on the side. We times this by 2 because we have another piece that's identical behind it, so the face and the one behind it are going to be the same, right? Both We have this side and this side are going to be the same, and our bottom and our top are going to be the same. So we multiply this whole thing by our two because there's two faces that have the, each of these measurements, okay? So when we figure this out, we're going to have our two times three times four, which is going to give us 12, plus three times six is going to give us 18, plus 6 times 4, which is going to give us 24. Okay. When we figure out all of this stuff in the middle here, what we're going to be, what we're going to have is we're going to have our 2, and it's going to be times 54. Okay. So that is going to be 108 we go, uh, feet squared. Okay, don't forget your units. Here we're working in feet and because we're finding the surface area our answer is going to be squared, okay? Sound good? Let's try another example. So we have example two and it says find the surface area of a cylinder with height of six centimeters and diameter of eight centimeters. Okay, so first we need to determine our object. So, oops, a 
it's in a great circle. We have a cylinder. It's going to look like this. Okay. Now, it says we have, it gives us our um, measurements, but it gives us the diameter of the circle. Right? So the circle, uh, we have our circle, and it gives us the diameter. However, when we have a circle, the diameter is the line all the way through the center. Okay? So it passes right through the center and goes to a point on each opposite ends of the circle. Okay? If your center is here, if this was you know, perfect world and this was the perfect center, that would be your diameter. However, when we're figuring out our surface area, we actually need it in terms of radius. So our diameter okay, is equal to to radius. So two times our radius because a radius is half of the half the diameter. So that's what we're going to be working with. So here it gives us that our diameter is eight centimeters. So we have eight centimeters and we have to divide that by two which gives us four. So four is our radius and 4 is what we're going to be working with. Okay, so the uh, equation we're going to be using for this is we have 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Okay, so here we know our pi is 3.14, r stands for our radius, and our h is going to be our height, which is given to us in the question. So we have 2 pi, which is 3.14, times our radius, which is 4 squared, plus 2, 3.14 times 4, This isn't working very well for me. Times 4 times our height, which is 6. Okay, so I'll just move this over. Okay, so that was just 8 divided by 2 equals 4. That was just how we found our radius given our diameter. Okay, so now we'll solve it. So we have 2, 3.14 times 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, which gives us 16. Okay. Plus 2 times 3.14 times 4 times 6. Okay, so the reason we 
again do this all of these steps is our three point our pi r squared is going to be for one of our circles right but because we have one circle here and the exact same identical circle on the other side for our cylinder we have to multiply this by two okay here this is just going to give us if we uh, if we think of our cylinder as um, a rolled up piece of newspaper, right, and we forget about the top and the bottom, when we unroll our newspaper and it's flat, we're going to have this formula to figure out the, um, the surface area for that piece of paper, right? So when we roll it back up, then this is still going to be the same surface area, but we have to then add our ends onto it, okay? So when we put this into our calculator, what we're going to get is we're going to get 100.48 plus 150.48 seven two okay so that is going to give us two hundred fifty one point two centimeters squared Okay, or I may have, that's okay. And let's look at one more example. This one asks us to find the surface area of a cone with height of four inches and diameter of six inches. Okay, so again, we first have to identify our shape. And a cone, you can think of like an ice cream cone if you want. Um, but try to picture it as a three-dimensional shape okay so again we have the diameter here but we want our radius a radius is what's going to help us with this with this problem so we need to find half of our diameter is going to be our radius so our radius is going to equal to six which is our diameter divided by two Which is going to give us three. Okay. Now you guys have uh, should have the formula for the surface area of a cone, and so we know that it's going to be pi r s plus pi r squared. So now we have this s that we have to figure out what that is equal to. So when we, if we were to take our cone and roll it out flat, we would get a triangle like this. Okay. Uh, now we know we would have our a, b, c. We know that uh, our diameter is 3, so we already have that one side, our 3, and we know that our height is 4, so we have that our height is 4. So if you remember back to grade 9, we remember that uh, the Pythagoras theorem, so we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So our a squared, we said, we remember that it's our height, that's going to be our 4, so we have 4 squared plus b squared, which is going to be our radius, so we're going to have plus 3 squared equals c squared. So when we, f 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is going to give us 16, plus 3 squared is 3 times 3, which will give us 9. That's going to equal c squared again. So when we add 16 and 9, we get 25. 
is equal to c squared. Now we need to find the square root of both of these numbers. So our c is going to equal 5. Okay, so this c, this 5 we just got, is what our s represents. So now we go back and we start plugging in numbers into our formula. So we have our pi, which is 3.14 times our radius, which is 3, times s, which we just figured out was our 5, plus pi, again, 3.14, times radius, which is 3, squared. Okay, so we have 3.14 times 3, times 5, plus 3.14, times 9. Three squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. So we're going to get 47.1 plus 28.26 when you put it into your calculator, which is going to give you 75.36 inches squared. And there you go.